submit my life to you, Lord. If you've gone cold on the Lord, you know, if you've been hurt by someone that dearly loved you or dearly you loved and thought that loved you, but they didn't. They did you bad. They did you wrong. Maybe some church did you wrong. And you blame God for it. See, God's not always in charge of what people does. But don't blame God for what people does. It's not his fault that they hurt you. You trust God. See, some people have been hurt. And they've never went to a church house in years and years and years. You come back to him. Come back to the one that loves you, the one that died for you. Oh, the time. Jesus, the Lord of your life. That I hope you responded to his calling, his knocking at your door. I hope you've said, let him in. And said, come into my life and save me and, may, and be the Lord of my life. Praise God. Hallelujah. And then give him your all in all. Put him first in line. Don't put him at the back of the line. Put him first place in your life. In everything, acknowledge him. Lord, what do you want me to do? <clears throat> and he can raise you up from off of, a, off of a sick bed. If you think your life is just over and, you know, your body's wore out and you're not any good anymore or something, I've got news for you. Jesus, the latter end can be greater than the former praise God. The Bible says the latter end can be greater. Praise God. When you receive him into your life, trust him and believe in him. He'll help you. I'd like to invite my husband to come and bring the word of God to you. And the word of God always builds us up. The word of his grace and love. The word of his grace builds us up and gives us God's inheritance. I'd like to introduce to you at this time, Brother Kenneth Gross. All right. Praise the Lord. Good to be here this morning. Good to be here. God is so good. Let me start out by saying to all of our viewers and listeners that we're, it's our privilege to be here as always. And uh, enjoyed what Brenda say. God's a mighty God today. He loves us more than some of us can comprehend. Most of us, I guess. Praise the Lord. God has a plan for your life. I wouldn't doubt that at all <laughs> if I were you. Now we're here this morning do our best to do God's will be a blessing to you so if you're listening by radio you may not realize it you may be there at this place that you, you might think well God don't even know my name <laughs> and the Bible says that he knows the very hair of your the, the number of the hair that's on your head what it says so he does he's aware and you know as, as Brenda was saying you're just you're going to have to give your life to God 
and you're going to have to invite him in. You're going to have to say, come on in, Lord. I, I, I'm not going to try to live without you. I've got to have you. I want you in my life. I want you to be Lord of my life. I want you to help me. I want you to guide me. I want you to speak to me through this word and show me what I need to know. And then with a loving heart towards God, just to go on and obey and do whatever the Lord wants you to do. He's got a plan for your life. I said, He's got a plan for your life.